Hello everybody, my name is Marfan009, today with a collection video, and I haven't made a vi collection video in a while, and the reason why I'm making this new one is because I've gotten quite a lot of fake more figures than I had before, and I also have a new shelf, and yeah, so starting off, we're going to show you my custom Hedora uh, paper bag puppet I made at Boy Scouts and because the TMT Final War was there when I made it because he goes to my Cub Scouts Boy Scouts but um, anyways starting off mm, I guess chronological order the whole thing is not in chronological order but Anna Creations got to 1954 this is one of my first no, my, this is one of my first figures I got not my first figure no, my first not the first figure I got, but one of my first figures. Next up is the NECA 1954 Godzilla. Yep, I really like this figure. He's really cool. I recommend everybody getting this thing. It's a lot better than the SH Monster Arts one. This is Monster Arts is trash. Not the company. The figure of it, it's just terrible. Not terrible. I just don't like it. It doesn't really look like 54. Anyways... SH Monster Arts Emergence version of 64. Update, it's like slipped through. Yeah, I've had this figure for a while. He not a while actually, but he's gone through a lot. Like, the worst movie ever. God's a little bit on Monster Island. I'm not saying the movies he was in is bad, but the movie I made with him in it was really bad. God's a little bit on Monster Island. That was terrible. I deleted most of those videos. Next up on the Z list is Fusion Series Man I Creation Godzilla 1968. Uh, Godzilla fan, I mean, ugh. Godzilla TMT Final War gave me this figure. Thank you so much. This figure is cool. By the way, if you saw my review video on this guy, I don't actually hate him. That was just a joke video. I actually kind of like this. Anyways, next up on my new newest figure. And I movie monster series called Solo 1974. By the way, if you're looking for him off Amazon, you can't get him. And if you're looking for him off Showcase like I do, he's not there either anymore. At least I got this guy for twenty dollars. Yes, that is an amazing deal. This is a very sought after Bandai figure. He goes for like a hundred dollars maybe on eBay. I got him for twenty dollars. A lot of people are gonna be jealous. But yeah, he's my newest figure and my favorite Shell Godzilla figure. Well, one of my favorites, at least. Next up is the Bandai Mora Box Godzilla 1993. Well, 92, 93, 94, I don't know what you want to call it. Advertised as a 93. It's tasty. We have the, next we have the Diamond Select 1995 Burning Godzilla figure. And over here is... Mechagodzilla 2, actually no, he's just Mechagodzilla, people call him Mechagodzilla 2, but he's Bandai. He's really cool, I like him. Next up on the list is the Bandai Creations 1974 Mechagodzilla, with a cracked toe, but I don't really care. Next we have the really bad figure, which is the 2014 Tail Strike Godzilla. I would show you his tail slide, but... There's a lot of reasons why I wouldn't. Oh, along with that, I would show you, but there's a lot of reasons why I wouldn't. Because it would knock over a lot of figures on the shelf. Then yeah, next up, my second most recent figure. The Godzilla vs. Mega Gears Blister Pack, blah blah blah, figure. And he's really cool, I really like him. And then here's the GMK King Ghidorah by Bandai Creations. Over here we have the Mega Godzilla 3, without the drill arm. See, look, no drill arm, and then his tag is are back there. And Godzilla fan, I mean, ugh, Godzilla, oh yeah, Godzilla fan 2018, he has his figure too. The damaged Pacific Rim Gypsy Danger, he's damaged because he has all dirt on him. And for some reason, you can't find the damaged version. You can only find the regular and the one without an arm. This is slightly, but not too damaged version. And, um, and then back there, the last figure, actually no, second to last figure of this video, 
my first figure, no, my, my second or third figure, the Bandai Creations Rainbow Mother. The original Wave 2, I think it was Wave 2 version, I don't remember. But it was uh, one from 2003, 2004-ish. And then we have the uh, Comic War, that's 2014. This thing is awesome. You can never find this thing really that much. You can't really find him. He's a little, he's a little rare. I saw him go for a lot more money than he used to. But yeah, but that's not all. We also have Godzilla movies. Okay, so we have the movies in which I have the original 1956 version of Rodan. Long story with this is my grandpa is like a really big Godzilla collector. He has like maybe four shelves. Like every shelf that he has, which he has four, it's like four of those, length of those, except four of them. And uh, this has a lot and a lot of figures. He has like both more boxes. He has a ton of figures. And he gave me this original 1956 Rodan that he got when he was younger. Thank you so much for this. He had this when he was really young. I think he was like 11, 12 when he got it. I don't know. But yeah, he did it. Really, that's really cool. And next we have Godzilla 2014 with bonus disc. I'll show you that. The bonus with the original and bonus disc special features in this one. This is the same movie twice, it's just moments of our features. Also, this Godzilla Awakening, the book, this the comic, this takes place before this. I really love the cover. For it. And the next is this is really old, this copy of Godzilla Final Wars. It's like warped if you had it in real life. Like the copy's warped. Weird, but Godzilla 2000, this picture is awesome. And also, do you know what? I never noticed this, but Orga is right there behind him. I never noticed that. And also, it still is way too long. It should never be that long. Anyways, next we have Aldo vs. Biolante, a very damaged version. Or at least the front side, it's all crackly. On the back, it's not that bad. I think this is the bonus feature version. Let me check. Hold on a sec. Never mind, I thought this was the bonus feature one. It just has the disc. Probably the world's most boring disc ever. Seriously, there's nothing on it. Also, this figure, I mean, this movie wasn't very good. I'm just gonna say that. I don't really like it. Destroyer Monsters, really good movie. I like how, I like Veron. He's cool in that movie. Even though he's barely in it. And then King Kong vs. Godzilla. Another one of my favorite movies. Godzilla should be more in the back, but he's not, so I don't, it's fine. And then, last movie. Okay, uh, never mind then. Uh, that movie sucks. Well, um, actually, no, it's actually a pretty good monster movie. Just not a good Godzilla movie. It should have been called Iguanodon, even though it's a dinosaur. Size does matter. He's not even that tall in that movie. He's like the size of the 62 in that movie. Actually, no, he's smaller. I think it was 40 meters or something in the movie. I don't know, he's a lot smaller. Before this video ends, I want to say, Godzilla Fan 2018, I have a video request for you. You should do an We're All Too Plain video with Godzilla vs. Versus, versus Mega Gears. I really like to see a Mega Gears tribute for All Too Plain. And yeah, that's my video request. And also, before I end this video again, um, Godzilla was a great research in Chapter 2. Is in the making. I think I'm gonna release it in like May, June, or July. Yeah. Also, I will be attending G Fest. Also, actually, no, not also. Yeah, this has been a little long of a video. It's about to be 10 minutes. Okay, it's like 30 more seconds until 10 minutes. So I guess I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.